Yeah, President Trump is on the way back to his hotel after finishing up his last full day of his official visit here to Japan. Uh, the final big event of the three-day visit was a state banquet. Uh, there you see the president greeting uh, the new emperor, uh, Naruhito, and his wife, Masako. Uh, they spent the morning with them as well. And uh, one, one more time, the uh, first lady and the president will uh, meet with the emperor. That's tomorrow morning. A little uh, private farewell uh, before the president heads down to give that uh, Memorial Day address uh, on the USS Wasp at Yokosuka that uh, John was talking about just a second ago. Earlier today, at a news conference, the president weighed in on his tweet on Sunday that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un called Joe Biden, quote, swamp man and a low IQ individual. The president was asked if he was siding with a brutal dictator over a former U.S. vice president. Listen to his answer. Kim Jong-un made a statement that Joe Biden is a low IQ individual. He probably is, based on his record. Uh, I think I agree with him on that. I can tell you that Joe Biden was a disaster. His administration with President Obama, they were basically a disaster when it came to so many things, whether it was economy, whether it was military defense, no matter what it was, they had a lot of problems. So I'm not a fan. In that same tweet, the president contradicted both his national security advisor, John Bolton, and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who said that North Korea firing short-range ballistic missiles earlier this month was a violation of United Nations Security Council resolutions. The president tweeted that he wasn't disturbed by the action, but clearly the Japanese prime minister still is. Listen to this exchange here. My people think it could have been a violation, as you know. I view it differently. I view it as a man. Perhaps he wants to get attention, and perhaps not. Who knows? It doesn't matter. On the 9th of May, North Korea launched a short-range ballistic missile. This is uh, violating the Security Council resolution. And President Trump told Fox News over the weekend that he is going to wait until after elections here in Japan in July before really putting on the hard press for a trade deal. He believes that Shinzo Abe in these elections may be able to increase his support and be able to push through a new trade agreement with the United States. Shinzo Abe said that uh, Japan is accelerating talks with U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer, and the president believes that something will get done maybe in August. Listen to what he said here. We are currently negotiating a bilateral trade agreement that would benefit both of our economies. Our goal is to reduce our trade deficit with Japan, remove trade barriers and barriers of all kinds, so that U.S. exports will really have a fair and very profound footing. And a couple of other pieces of news. The Japanese prime minister may soon meet with Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea. Abe said that uh, he has the full support of President Trump in doing that. What Abe is really after is there are a number of Japanese citizens who were abducted by North Korea. The president met with the families of those people yesterday, as he did when he was here back in November of 2017. And Abe may also be going to visit with Iranian President Rouhani in June. Uh, when asked if uh, Abe could potentially serve as a liaison between the United States and Iran, the president said he would be fine with that. He said he believes that Iran wants to talk to the United States and the U.S. would be open to talking with Iran, too. So uh, perhaps some developments, Julie, on that front coming our way in the next couple of months.